Hello, Australia. And just like Two Minute News says, uh, enjoy the cool weather because it's going to heat up. And let's go to IntelliCast, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, folks, it's Beano Black. Make sure you go watch Two Minute News. I like his stuff. He's good. Basically, let's pop through here and see what we got for earthquakes recently. And there you go. And we'll pop back here in a second. Let's run over to IntelliCast, and I'll show you the one that there's basically a quake up there. Let the East Coast know that, yep, this stuff's really going on. And then I'll pop back to, uh, and here you go with the info on the East Coast. Now, the freshest they've got is basically three to seven days old. Uh, actually, one to three, a lot of this action here. Uh, sometimes this one, a &F, is really good at showing everything. A matter of fact, we'll take you down through the data. Sorry about this going too fast, but here we go. And I'll scoot over a little bit. Magnitude is right here. Sometimes it'll be an ML, MB, M. And here we go. And then I'll pop back to the top real fast, but all these quakes are happening. And IE, you've seen the one up there in Ontario, off in telecast. Basic California is still shaking pretty good. They've been getting everything from offshore Oregon to uh, British Columbia, if you've seen my earlier videos, and Baja is going crazy. And uh, we still got Puerto Rico and uh, the Virgin Islands constantly going. I think I'll be able to get the fresh viewer and we'll see whatever is actually fresh right now. So this is the freshest we had there at this ANF website. Now we'll pop back over to Intellicast and you can see that Nevada's had a couple out there, 2.0, 2.3. And we'll scan out on the, we like the new map, it seems to be working pretty good. Uh, I can actually get us up in size a little bit too here while we're stretching. Ooh, look at the red cursor I had got. So let's take a look at Alaska area. I'm fighting with it a little bit, but we'll get it back around to it. And uh, I got something I got to X out, but a lot of stuff in Alaska. There's recent there on that, that. And like I say, always blow it up too, and there's your fire. I got your fire on and also the weather. As you can see, the idea that we're just starting to warm up a little here in the late afternoon. It's around 39 degrees up where I'm at right now. This cold air is way over to the right now. Still cold air here and still cold air on top of us, but we're just getting a little bit of warm air to come through here up out of Canada. Right down, slipping barely through here, maybe a little bit from the south. you got to go to the wind map. If you go to Intellica, I mean, if you go to Two Minute News, Suspicious Observer, he's got the local wind map there today on, the, on his report. So basically, we got all this quakes over here, but nothing fresh. At least on a telecast. We've got one over here south of Thailand. Basically Indian Ocean, I believe. Indonesia. So, and we did have one while back way down here south, down in Antarctica area off the, off the deal. But I don't think it's, maybe it's not registered anymore. It might have been brushed off the map because it's old. So, I showed you that one the other night anyway, so. But there's you got all the fires and Australia it's going to heat up again. So enjoy the cool weather while it lasts because you're going into the hot summertime down there because we're going into winter here. So we all know that that works opposite. And there we go. Hawaii's got a 2.5 and got that volcano action going on. Nice balmy 83. Or probably nice, probably nice comfortable 83 probably, huh? Aloha, Hawaii. We love you. So anyway, the Pacific Gym, and now we back over to Puerto Rico and see what's going on over there. What's been hammering away on it? Brazil's got all the fires down south, and I don't even think I'm going to be able to get that up high enough to be able to curse it to be able to find out. We won't even get the freshest. There we go. 2.4 there. 3.0 in the Virgin Islands, and probably more down there in the Virgins to the right. There we go. Chile's had a little action. Peru. That was a 4.8. So quakes, fires all over the world. Let's just pop out real fast, hopefully. And we like a telecast, but I'm kind of fighting with the new 
I liked it to begin with, and now I'm starting to fight with this thing a little bit as far as a new map, but here's a pretty good view. So all the fires around the world, and also there is a good site that you can go to on the... Uh, NASA's got a good picture that they take every once in a while of all the fires burning around the world, too. So, all this stuff is happening. This is actual factual data here. Okay, all these fires are out there. So Japan's still on, having quakes over there constantly. Fires up even in the southern province over here, way east on Russia's border, and fires up there in Russia also. So fires all over the world, all over the west, up in Canada, down to Mexico. So it's warm, folks. We're and we are moving away from the sun. Okay, we are in the fall solstice. We are farther away than normal. But like I say, this coming summer we're going to be heck of a close again, more than likely to the sun. Maybe we break the record we had last year. That it, and it's really up in the air whether we did really break the record last year or not of all time closeness to the sun. So, I want to thank, thank Lasco and Navy and all armed branches of the military. And special thanks to the Navy because they give us these shots. But thanks goes out to all branches. Freshest shot of the sun and everything that's out there. And let's see what we got on two. Unless you got it on two. Yesterday where they were hiding out some stuff. Uh, basically can actually dig that up folks this was data from yesterday and I'll kind of cruise through this fast I made a little video but I was at the bar and it kind of turned out kind of yeah I had a couple so anyway a lot of stuff in Cali on yesterday's map of IntelliCast now I, I repeat this was yesterday's map of IntelliCast okay this was the third okay so I'm just gonna pop through so now here's the action that basically we didn't get to see this left hand side yesterday on this C2 shot okay Alaska, but I thought I'd take and show you this. Uh, and then here's the Alaska C3 action. Okay, now like I say, this was from the third. Okay, this is 10-3, and you can see the dates on it and so forth. Now I was recording at, yeah, I was recording at 12:24 a.m. Okay, so. That's what we had out there, and then here we had the Aleutian Island action. I I went up there and marked this stuff. So a lot of the Hawaii stuff going. So now we'll move ahead a little bit, and we'll cruise through here and see what else I had on this tape. There was yesterday's auroral action. Yesterday's on the third and it was like I say I was recording this at like 12 26 a.m. so and that's what they had for fresh quakes then and there was the data from yesterday on the third and I will speed through here because I basically have a little bit of video here we go now check out what the hell is hitting the Sun because check this video this section out now this is the action from the left hand side. Check this action out yesterday on the sun. You see that on the left? Just before that CME kind of hit the telescope there? Or, or the... Now watch. I think it'll play some more here. And watch it to the left. Whammo. You see that? Now watch all the crap to the left, folks. And I'm serious. Just watch this. This is badass to the left here. Check this out. So here, this video yesterday that I caught, and this was taped on the like 9-1 through period, but check that out. You can see it happened on the first. All right. So, but it's that is wild right there. Check that out. Matter of fact, I'm starting to wonder if that's wrong on the date, but it's a conglomerate, I guess, of all the way through September there. But I'm telling you what, it's wild with what comes and hits because that didn't come off of the sun, okay? I've had a hard time trying to load this up to get you to play for you. But see, that that crap from the left come into the sun from, more than likely, the super giants, okay? Because you'll be able to see it 
You can go back and forth. I'll let, keep this let in play here. It should, it should bump back into it, and you get the action from the left-hand side. It'll come in. I had it froze there for a second for you, but it didn't come off the sun, folks. It went towards the sun. And there was a little bit of it there, and there's some more. That stuff came in from the, somewhere else, out of the super giants or something, because it didn't look like to me that it came off the sun. Okay. Now all this stuff is coming off the sun, and it's pretty wild action too. But you see this come in from the left. You see it come in from the left. Now that's Venus or Mercury, and I don't even care about being wrong with that. But that that CME came in from outer space, from like. Like uh, the Super Giants, one of the stars up in the Super Giants main sequence or something. So something blasted the sun. Now watch, to the left, it'll come again because I kept on playing it back last night when I was recording it. And here it comes in, whammo from the left. That didn't come off the sun. It sure didn't look like it came off the sun to me. Now I could be disproved about it, but I'm telling you what. It sure looks like someone scratched the big old sun, the big old cat. And I'm telling you what. It sure looked like it came in from the left. From the left. It sure looks like it came from the left and it didn't come off the sun. I could be wrong. And I could be proven wrong on it. But to me, every time I played that back right there, it sure looks like it came in from the left. Okay? If anything, it sure the hell doesn't look like it came off the sun. But your eyes will tell you whether it did or not. Now this is USGS's latest uh, earthquake map, okay? And basically they got one out there in the Atlantic again it looks like. And we'll roll down here through the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. And basically that was 5.5. We'll scoot over just a little bit. There we go. And that's what they got for the latest info. So, and then they got a scroller within a scroller too. Let me see if I can pop that in. Go up and grab that and scroll that down. There you go. Drag you through some info, but I need to get over left so you can get the mag. So it's kind of a pain in the butt here, but if I can get it just right to the right, it's almost like playing a video game here. And then I can drag that, maybe. Can I drag it yet? There we go. I had it for a second. There we go. So there's your mags to the left. And we'll cruise through that. So shitload of earthquakes, folks. Flipping shitload of earthquakes. And remember, folks, I try to keep it PG, or at least G, but you know that if you got a kid, he needs to learn how to say shit in school, like I said, or he's going to just get his ass kicked. So we all know that in society. You gotta have a little spiky mouth sometimes. Hell, I think I've even heard ministers and priests cuss before. Matter of fact, I know I have. So, anyhow, there you go with a lot of data streaming through real fast. But those are mags, earthquakes to the left, your mag. All the way to the left hand side of the screen. 6.2, Miko Japan. So, that's what USGS has got on this big old board of theirs right now. And like I say, we'll just move up here and look at the map real fast. And that's pretty much recent. And we'll also try to go to live world life, live earthquake. We'll try to go to. Here's our northern lights, pretty much your auroral. The friction of us going through space at more than 66,000 miles an hour. That's your recent on that. And that's your time period on it when it came through. Military time on the bottom. One through the 2400 hour. And there you go. There's our aurora right there. Fresh data, 10-4. And you can see the sun doing a pretty damn wild CME right here and two big planet objects right there in front of that. Off these latest. That's from stereo ahead, B. And behind, to the right. Got freshest quake because it looks like it's in the mid-Atlantic again. Way east of, uh, way east of the Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. Okay, and remember they had this stuff here too, so check out all the quakes, folks. They're all there and they're all real. Later.
I'll real actual factual. <laughs> <laughs>